Hey guys, Mike Semsky here with another real estate investing tip. And a few days ago, I posted a video on Facebook. It was a video tour that I had done of a duplex uh, that I recently remodeled and I was making available for rent. And so I had filmed one of the, uh, the units, did the video tour of that, and at the very end of that video tour, there is another uh, video that pops up that you can actually click on within the YouTube video to send you to see the video tour of the other side. And I promised you I'd show you how I did this, so that's what this tutorial is about. So quickly, just to uh, refresh your memory or in case you didn't see it, I'm going to play you a portion of this video tour, um, the end of the video where you can see the clickable link. So let's go. Now there's one more thing, if you'd like to see the video. All right, so you can see um, I've just paused this video, but I have a video within a video, and if I click on this uh, video here, it's going to take me directly to Enter. This is Mike Semsky with Washington the Home other Solutions. video. So, how did I do that? Well, you have to have some video editing software, and I'm on a Mac, so I use iMovie. And so we're going to open up iMovie, and if you can see, this is the video tour the, that I've got of this property. And whether you use iMovie or if you use Movie Maker or Vegas or something else, uh, depending if you're on a Mac or PC, it should be a relatively the same process. So part of what you need to do is on the video editing software, and the rest of it is on YouTube itself. So what I want to do is I need to create a section of video, maybe about 10 seconds long, at the end of my, uh, at the end of my video so I can put in that additional video image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go down here and drag this uh, text theme and drag this to the end of my video. And let's just select this black one here. All right, so now I've created three seconds of additional black space after the video. Well, I want to make this a little bit longer, so I'm going to hit the duration. I double-clicked on it. I'm going to make it 10 seconds. And then um, I also want to edit the the subtext right here so that I can say something like click the video above to see the other unit or to see the next video. So let's just delete this one. Click above see next video. All right, so click above to see next video. We're going to say done. And so now we have 10 seconds of this section. And now what we want to do is we want to actually insert some video for our next uh, video tour. And I actually have a little bit of down here. So this is the video from the other unit. And I want to select 10 seconds of this video. And so we can put this um, up top. So let's get 10 seconds right there. All right. So I've selected that. I'm going to drop this right on top of the other video. And then I want to select the spot that says picture in picture. All right, so now what this has done is it's created a picture-in-picture picture that I can now move, and I can center this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's drag the corner, center it again. And now what I've done is I've created another section that's actual video. Now, in uh, if you're not using iMovie, the process may be a little different, but uh, this is how we do it on a Mac with iMovie. So what else I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this around and make this a little bit in, bigger in the timeline so it goes the entire 10 seconds. All right. So that should be good. Um, I'm going to also turn the audio adjustment on this other video to zero so the audio on the other side will not play. And I hit done, and now I can play through this entire 10-second clip And as you can see, I have a video within the video. And now that is going to be good enough for me to upload to YouTube so we can do the next step. So um, now I want to save it. I want to get it uploaded to YouTube. And now let's check out on YouTube and how to actually create that hyperlink within the video. So within YouTube, what we want to do is Let's see here. I'm going to get back to the video that I was on before. And this is the one. So, hey, this is 
let's just assume that I've uploaded this video and now we're to go to the section that says edit annotations okay now now that we're here we can edit these annotations what I want to do is I want to go to the end of the video and I want to go and create an, an add an annotation so let's go to the end let's move up here just a little bit so all right so in this case uh, this is the video I'd already had up here so the text is a little different instead of saying click above for the next video I'd actually already done it say click for the next to see the next door unit with a huge shop um, but if you can see over here we've got this video and we want to add an, an annotation so we click here and what we want to do on this is do spotlight so when we do spotlight what it does is it creates this rectangle now we can drag the corners of this rectangle to perfectly match the corners of our new video and so what that does is it creates a frame around the video and we want to do is set it up so that we can link so we click on this button down here to link it and now we want to paste in the URL for uh, the next video we want them to see okay so this happens to be the video we want to send them to and, and we copy the link for that video so I'm going to hit control C and copy that we're going to go back to this one and we're going to paste it right in there. So now that we've pasted the link in, we have to adjust the time on our annotation. So what we're going to do is drag this all the way to the end of the video. So that final uh, 10 seconds or so is going to be uh, part of that annotation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit save or publish. So we're going to publish this. Now we can view the video here and let's just see how we've done. Hey, this is Mike. And drag all the way to the end. And hit play. Now there's one more thing. If you'd like to see the video tour of the And now we click. Unit. And bingo. Hey there, this is Mike Sims. We're in the next video. All right, so how can you actually use this strategy. Well, if you're ever creating multiple videos where you want uh, someone to link from one video to the next, you can create a clickable annotation at the end of the video to encourage the viewer to go and see your next video. Or let's say that you have, uh, you're in your real estate business, you're advertising properties, and at the end of every video you want to be able to give somebody a chance to link over to some more information. So for instance, uh, in my niche, I like to do a lot of rent to own. Well, what if I had a few videos that will teach people about rent to own homes or how to apply for our homes uh, or to sign up for our buyers list? I can create a specific video um, on, on any of those topics and I can create something at the end for them to actually click on to go to that next video. Now, if you don't have a picture in picture video, that's okay. You can still create an annotation um, on a YouTube video. You can actually create it any spot within the video. So we can go up in, in here on this annotations. We can actually add a, um, a, a clickable annotation anywhere we want in the video. So just for instance, we could uh, create another, uh, say, note. We can put this anywhere we want. And we can go and say, uh, subscribe to our channel. And then what we can do is we can hit this link and we can actually link this to a video, a playlist, channel, or subscribe. Uh, so we can hit this and say subscribe. Now at this point in the video, it'll always pop up this little button for them to subscribe. If you want them to send a message to you with their email address, uh, maybe to join a buyer's list, you can change that link to a compose message. And, uh, and so there's a ton of different things you can create annotations for. So I hope this has helped you out. Make sure you use it, implement it in your business. Um, as always, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you at the next tip. Take care. Whoa, stop. Not just yet. All right, don't, don't click away. I've got one more thing to say. Uh, we've been talking about annotations. We've been talking about uh, generating uh, leads from YouTube. So a video of annotations would not be complete without one more annotation. Now, this is not an annotation yet, but it will be soon. So pretty quickly, I'm gonna want you to click on this video 
and it's going to take you to another video where I'm going to show you one very important way that you can get people from your YouTube page to your website. Okay, so let's just say um, you've got stuff on YouTube, you can get tons of views, but you want them to get to your website. This might be for uh, getting more information about uh, your company. This may be for getting them to opt into your email list, like your buyers list. So I'm going to show you on the next video how to do that. So right now, all right, let's click this annotation and we'll go to the next video. Come on, click it. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait here all day. Now's the time to click. I need to go to bed. Okay, you got like four seconds left. Three, two, one. Click, 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 click. <laughs>